The following video is meant for the adult nerds in the community, so if you're under 13, please stop. This is probably what you get when you take heavy metal and make it into an action figure. Welcome back to the Nerd Room with J&J. &J. James Sharmack here once again with another Marvel Legends Riders figure review for you. Today I am looking at the Cosmic Ghost Rider. An alternate Frank Castle from a different universe. We'll talk about his story as we do the review, but this is just one nasty looking figure. I'm really looking forward to opening it up, building it, doing a review, see how he looks. Just This might be the most metal figure, as I said, to come through my doors. Just I'm really hoping it's going to be one of my top three figures of the year. Just We'll see how it goes, but anyways, let's get the review started and see where it goes. So let's take a look at the box. Of course we're taking a look at the box. So very look cool looking figure right cool looking everything the cycle looks awesome Frank Castle looks awesome just the most metal figure I've probably seen right probably gonna keep on saying that so a nice picture of him on the side there on the back you have a nice picture of the figure as well as you know different aspects of the vehicle itself so the text here says supernatural powers transform Frank Castle from a force of retribution to an eternal spirit of vengeance. So we'll talk about who he is when we're filming the cycle. So there's another picture, same picture there. Back to the front. Nice logo on the bottom of Cosmic Ghost Rider. Nice skull right there. So yeah, that's a box. Looking pretty cool. Pretty big. You know, I'm looking forward to opening this up and without any ado, further ado, let's uh, open it up and put this sucker together. Okay, so let's build the title. Let's talk about Cosmic Ghost Rider. So, Frank comes from a different Earth, obviously. Comes from Earth where, you know, he's pretty much Punisher for most of the time until uh, Thanos comes a calling and uh, basically makes a play to destroy the Earth. And he does destroy the Earth, resulting in Frank, of course, wanting vengeance. So, after he's dead, he's in hell. And he makes a deal with Mephisto that basically uh, says, you know, he wants to get revenge, just make, you know, what can he do? And it's, well, he's going to make a new Ghost Rider. So he turns him into the Ghost Rider of that universe. And since, you know, well, he's basically more or less earthbound, he can't go anywhere. Earth's destroyed, so he's just there. So Thanos is doing his thing wherever across the universe and uh, almost kills Galactus. Galactus comes along to Earth trying to get health, not not knowing that Earth is destroyed, and comes across uh, Frank. So he uh, makes Frank into a herald. So uh, he's already Ghost Rider, so he gives him the cosmic power to be. Ooh, that's nice. Be the herald of uh, Galactus and maybe exact some vengeance or whatever. So there you go. He's a uh, the cosmic Ghost Rider. That's very cool. So we got the cycle together, looking very cool. That's like some kind of plasma orb, fire coming out of the back. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. He has that. This is a better uh, stand than the Xavier stand. Let's look at the figure. So I love that skull. I love that the skull pretty much resembles not only Ghost Rider, but Frank Castle hits himself. The, he's got the Punisher skull on the chest. Looking cosmic, he has like these George Miller esque spikes on. I love that he's all like a metal. He's almost like a robot. Not quite though. But you know, he's definitely Ghost Rider. He's got a pair of guns that shoot fire. And he has uh, the chain, the flaming chain whip. Nothing on the back, it just looks like a leather jacket, so that's pretty cool. I dig this figure, it looks awesome. So let's talk uh, articulation, so his head can go all the way around. Can this come off? Yeah, I can. Can't really uh, move the head back and forth so much, but why would you want to? Um, the arm goes up so far, just watch out for that. Goes up that far and back that far too. Uh, rotation to bicep. 
double joint at the elbow, wrist back and forth, and uh, no ro and rotation at the wrist. You can go back that far, go forward that far, rotation at the diaphragm, no waist rotation, legs will part that far, go forward and back that far. Uh, thigh rotation, of course, double joint at the knee, and angle pivoting forward and back. So, let's get this sucker on the bike and put him in some crazy poses, shall we? Okay, so I want to get a closer look at the bike a little bit more. Um, I didn't notice this before, but it has a uh, puncher skull on the top for a headrest, so that's pretty cool. And the sides are like two different holsters because the guns are different designs, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'll say this is an impressive uh, setup. Uh, love the figure, love the paint apps, so shiny and so, so chrome. And this, uh, the base, you know. Can make it you know put in multiple positions well that's awesome so of course i had to pull out my other ghost rider figures the uh previously reviewed uh ghost rider uh from the original riders and the uh toy biz ghost rider i have so um it's probably not fair to put them all against each other but there you go those are the ghost riders in my collection what do you guys think? Which Ghost Rider do you like best? Do you like the uh, Hasbro, the Toy Biz, or the Frank Castle? Let me know in the comments below. So this figure is just nuts. And I mean that in a good way. It's ridiculous. It's just, like I said, it's like the most metal figure that's come into my collection. It's, you know, I wouldn't say it blows away the Ghost Riders I have. It's, it's just on a different level. It's different. Just, you know, it's one of those mind-blowing type of figures, I guess I would call it. It's definitely going to be one of my best hubs at the end of the year. Make no mistake. Uh, just, the whole design just kind of freaks me out. The whole, I get it's a character, but, you know, I'm kind of interested in uh, finding the books and actually reading it now. So, yeah, this is a fantastic figure. If you guys don't like it, let me know in the comments below. If you guys do like it, let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below regardless. So, yeah. Uh, I know they have Squirrel Girl out. Obviously, I moved her aside to get this one. There's only a Punisher Rider at some time this year. I'm excited to see that. So, yep. The Riders collection keeps on growing. The Marvel Legends collection keeps on growing. I want to thank you guys for watching this review. Uh... If you guys liked it please hit that like button share our video if you want you know i've got no qualms about that and if you haven't done so subscribe to the channel uh we've gotten somewhat of a growth through the last month thank you guys for joining on for keeping on for joining i appreciate it i'm going to try to keep on putting out content my friend jason who also helps with the channel is going to try to put out some content just to make you guys happy so anyways my name is James Sharmack. This is the Nerd Room with J and J. I want to thank you once again and tell you guys to keep up with your collecting and happy hunting.